guys, it's Megan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you a few ways to make DIY jewelry. I'm honestly not 100% sure what, like, style these would be considered, but whenever I see this type of thing on, like, Pinterest or Instagram, they literally tag all the aesthetics. So honestly, I don't know, but if you have an opinion on what aesthetic these are, make sure to let me know in the comments. I used a lot of beads that my aunt gave me in this video, so I'm not 100% sure where every single bead is from. I did get some of them from, like, Amazon and Hobby Lobby, though, so I'll make sure to link everything that I can find in the description for you guys. And yeah, with all that being said, let's just get into it. So the first type of jewelry that I made was these pearl bows. These were actually way easier than I thought they'd be. For the bow on this necklace, I used about 6 inches of 22 gauge wire, 34 millimeter pearl beads, and one 6 millimeter pearl bead. First add on your larger bead. Like I said, I used a 6 millimeter pearl bead. Then add 10 smaller beads. I used some 4 millimeter pearl beads, but this bow technique will work with literally any type of beads. Slide the larger bead to the middle of the wire. Then take the end of your wire and thread it through the large bead like this. If you have any trouble, you can use pliers to help you pull the loop tight. Now go to the other end of the wire and add on 10 more small beads. And again, we're going to feed this end of the wire through the large bead as well. Again, I find that using pliers really helps to get that loop tightened up. To finish the bow, add 5 more small beads to one end of the wire like this. And make a loop at the end of the wire to finish it off. I finally got one of these one-step looper tools. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. This makes it so much easier. But if you don't have one of these, you can totally just cut off the extra wire and make the loop with regular round nose pliers. And then just repeat this on the other side. So again, just add 5 smaller beads, cut off the excess wire, and make a loop at the end. And when you're done, you should have something like this. This technique can be used in all sorts of different ways. I turned this one into a necklace. I made this one about 14 inches long. I like using these bead boards to help me plan out my jewelry. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend it. They're like $5, super inexpensive, and they are so helpful for planning things out. So what I did was I cut a piece of 26 gauge wire that was about 8 inches long. Then I used my round nose pliers to create a loop at the end. And the reason that I'm using the pliers instead of that one step looper tool is because I want to twist some of that extra wire around the bottom of the loop like this. I really like twisting the wire like this when I use the thinner wire because since it's thinner, it's more likely to come undone. So twisting it just makes it extra secure. Okay, so after I made the loop, I strung on my beads. When I got to the bow, I just brought the wire up through one of the loops like this. Then I went ahead and twisted the wire a couple times to secure it, and cut off any excess with wire cutters. And for the other half of the necklace, I did the exact same thing, so I cut an 8 inch piece of wire, made a loop at the end, strung on my beads, and twisted the extra wire around the bow to secure it. Cut off the excess, flatten out any sharp edges, and you're all set! You can add any type of clasp that you have. I use these magnetic clasps that I got from Amazon. And here's how my finished necklace turned out! I kind of wish that I would have finished it before Valentine's Day. I feel like it's giving, you know, very Valentine's, I don't know, coquette vibes. Like I said before, the coquette girlies, they're so toxic, but I love the aesthetic. And I hate that I love it, but like, this tired, sad girl, like, that's, that's very doable. The whole, like, that girl, clean girl aesthetic, I will never be her. But the whole like pale tired look, you know what? This I could do. Anyways, I also use that same technique to make earrings to match. This time I used 26 gauge wire. I added a 4 millimeter pearl bead for the middle, then added 10 3 millimeter seed beads that I had left over from my seed bead jewelry video. So just like before, bring the end of your wire through the bigger bead like this. Then add 10 more smaller beads to the other side, bringing this end of the wire through the larger bead as well. Pull the loops tight using your pliers, then add 5 small beads to each side to make the tails of the bow. Finish it off with a loop, I used that one step looper again, but like I said, you don't need this, you can definitely just use round nose pliers instead. Repeat this on the other side, and that's it! I wanted to make these into stud earrings, so I used some UV resin to stick some earring bindings to the back. I like using UV resin since it's a little bit more secure, but if you don't want to use resin, any strong glue will work. And here's how the earrings turned out! Again, I absolutely love these. It was a little bit tricky to get the resin to cooperate, but it worked out and I think that these are just so cute. This next necklace that I made is another sort of like style that I've been seeing a lot where people, they'll make like necklaces with multiple layers. I started my necklace by making a loop at the end of a piece of 26 gauge wire that was about 16 inches long. I wanted my necklace to be about 14 inches when it was done, but I always like to cut the wire a little bit longer than I think that I'll need it since I do the loops at the end. So for the first layer of the necklace, I picked out an assortment of just a bunch of random beads that I had, and I went with a blue color scheme this time. Like I said before, most of these beads were given to me by my aunt, so I'm not 100% sure where everything's from, but I'll do my best to find similar beads to link in the description. So once I got to the end, I made another loop in the wire just like we did before. Also, um, note to self, white is not a great nail color 
color if you're gonna use the auto exposure on your camera. So hopefully the quality of this video isn't too bad, um, but like look how cute my nails are. I used a jump ring to add a lobster clasp to one end, and added another jump ring to the other side of the necklace to make the closure. I know some people like to use chain instead of just one jump ring, but I figure since these are just for me, like I can just make them fit and they don't really have to be adjustable. So as you can see, the necklace is about 14 inches long. Not exactly since I ran out of beads, but that's okay. But the idea is that we're gonna weave in the next layer of beads about every two inches. So I cut another piece of 26 gauge wire that was about 28 inches long. Like I didn't really need quite that much, but like I said, always better to do a little bit longer than you need. So for this layer, I made a loop at the end of my wire, just like we've been doing for all the other necklaces. And then I opened that jump ring on the end back up and added on this new piece of wire. I taped the necklace to my table, then I added 15 four millimeter pearl beads. You can add more or less beads depending on how big that you want these bumps to be. Find a bead that's about two inches away from the beginning of the necklace, then bring the end of your wire through that bead. I continued this the whole way across the necklace, adding on 15 beads, finding a bead on the first layer that was about two inches away, and bringing the wire through that bead. Now, since my necklace wasn't quite 14 inches, I had to make that last section of pearls a little bit smaller. So for this one, I only added on 12 pearl beads. I figured since it's in the back, it doesn't matter. To finish the necklace, I just wrapped the end of my wire around the wire loop that we made for the first layer a couple times to make sure it wouldn't come undone. I cut off the excess, flattened it, and here's how my necklace turned out. I originally was gonna add a charm to this, but I decided I kinda liked it as is. What do you guys think? I think this last necklace was my favorite. Definitely a little more time consuming than the other two, but it was so worth it. The foundation of this necklace was a little bit different than the other two. Each bead has a small piece of wire going through it with a loop on either end, and then those loops get connected with jump rings. So after you pick out your beads, take a piece of 22 gauge wire and make a loop at one end. Slide on your bead, then cut off the excess wire and make a loop on the other side of the bead. Do this for every single one of your beads and then use jump rings to link the wire loops together. Like I said, definitely a little bit more time consuming, but it's worth it to get this cool chain link type effect. This technique works really well if you wanna do like charm bracelets. I don't really wear bracelets though, so I decided to make this a charm necklace instead. I used this silver butterfly charm from Hobby Lobby in the middle as a focal point. And the rest of the charms are actually just beads that I put a little bit of wire through. This is basically like a life hack for making your own charms. I did these the same exact way that I did the beads for the chain. So I just added a loop to the end of my wire, slid on a bead, and added another loop. If you get one of these one-step looper tools, you might notice that it usually doesn't close the loop the whole way. And normally that's a little bit of a pain, but in this case it's actually a good thing, because you can just slide that onto one of the jump rings, close it up like so, and repeat this as many times as you want all the way down your necklace. And when you're done, you should have something like this. I added a lobster clasp to one end, and a jump ring to the other to create the closure. And here's how my finished necklace turned out. This is just... I'm obsessed. I got the purple butterfly beads from Hobby Lobby, and the white butterfly beads were from Amazon. I used this same technique to make another necklace with some leftover bows that I had. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, I feel like it would've looked better if I would've just used one bow in the middle instead of doing three of them, because the bows on the side kind of like flip up sometimes. But you know what? She's cute. I like it. And yeah, so that was everything for this video. Make sure to let me know which project was your favorite. I think my favorite was either the purple butterfly necklace or the pearl bow earrings. If you want to see more DIY jewelry videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that I know I kind of already have a couple halfway filmed, so hopefully you guys like these. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!